Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. This week, you know, we're talking about motivation and inspiration. Have you ever felt, maybe like I felt sometimes, where I just don't feel like it? Like I set these goals, I had this agenda, I had these things I wanted to accomplish, and some days I feel more like it than I do other times. What's wrong with me? Well, What we've been trying to discuss this week is there's probably not anything wrong with you. Uh, The failed strategy here is that we rely on ourselves for motivation. And motivation, I contend, doesn't come internally, it comes externally. I need to surround myself with motivation and inspiration. Because to just rely on myself every day is just way too hard and I'm going to fail doesn't feel good to admit that, but it's true, and I see it all around us all the time. So we've been discussing different ways that i found to find motivation and inspiration. The first one I'd like to talk to you about this morning is music. You know, you watch any sports on TV, like an NFL football game, right? And when the players are out on the field before the game, it's very common to see them have headphones on or earbuds in. And what are they doing? Well, they're listening to music. They're getting their mind right for the game. They're getting motivated and inspired. They're getting themselves charged up. And if these guys are making millions of dollars a year to play a game, and they use something like that, external motivation, to get their mind right, to get themselves in the right state, you think maybe we could too? Maybe we take a lesson from them? You know, in my business, there were many activities that I had to do that I didn't want to. I was very reluctant. They made me feel uncomfortable. I was uh, reticent to do them. And It didn't mean that because I didn't want to or I felt uncomfortable that now I didn't have to do it. No, I still had to do it, but I don't want to do it. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. So how did I get past that? Music was a big way. It was a big way for me to get my mind right and get myself into the state where I was willing to do things that made me admittedly feel very uncomfortable. Uh, For me, (laughs) this will age me a little bit, uh, Bobby Brown. I I need to meet Bobby Brown one day and I need to give him a personal thank you because some of his music got me fired up, got me inspired, got me motivated to do things that I was reluctant to do. I hope you give that some consideration. A lot of times we sit around and blame ourselves because we're not feeling motivated and inspired today. Like there's something wrong with me. I'm just not as motivated as other people are. Uh, Maybe other people have learned that relying on themselves is a failed strategy. Something to consider. The other uh, strategy that I'd like to talk to you about today is books. Like right now, I'm consuming about three books a month. Now, admittedly, I listen to the books and I don't read them. I don't. I just don't have the time to sit and read dedicated amounts of time. And when when I read a book, I I can only be doing one thing, and and I just don't have pockets of time in my day that allow for that. And should I and start to try to read something, inevitably I'm going to fall asleep while I'm reading it, Uh, no doubt. So I listen to a lot of books. I have the Audible app on my phone, and I listen to all kinds of different books. I listen to some business books. I do. I mix it in. I love listening to biographies. Uh, They, biographies, no doubt, motivate and inspire me. I've just recently listened to the biography of Harry Truman and his first 400 days in office as president. And it's an amazing story, an amazing story. And you can't read or listen to that book, for example, without coming away from it very fired up and motivated. Uh, And other people too. Uh, 
Business books, absolutely. Expanding our skill set, absolutely. Uh, biographies for me, whatever it is for you, books are a great way to find your motivation. Rely on myself today. Nah, that's not going to work. Folks, these are concepts that I hope you will take and you will use and not put so much pressure and burden on yourself to be better than what any of us could reasonably expect ourselves to be day in and day out. And if you do that, I guarantee that you'll be going out there and making it happen for yourself.